On Monday, we talked to former Six Music presenter, now Hollywood superstar, Mr. Russell Brand. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's incredible. How how the devil are you, sir? I'm feeling quite upbeat, to tell you the truth. Yeah? Yeah, no, joyful. I'm just looking at a barbecue. It's not lit or anything, but it's still quite transfixing. Okay, well, just kind of giving you the vibe of summer, basically. Well, it is an icon of summer, isn't it? Very yeah. much like sort of those things that you get wishes from, them dandelion-y things that float through the air and you might get a wish if you catch it in your hand. those things, what, the little, the ones you blow and it goes all over your shirt, that one. Those are the guys, unless you're, unless you're nude, George, of course, I L- can't go with Ah, shirt. see? Nude. That's where I was going wrong, Russell. <laughs> that's, why that's, why, that's why you're a big movie star and I'm not, sir. Well, you know, time will tell. Now, when I was on Six Music, I would do an awful lot of the show... If not nude, then in themed costume. Have you themed your costume today? No, not as oh, yet. Kashoggi. Yeah, Kash- <laughs> Kashoggi I'm coming as. 80s arms dealer. <laughs> but a lot, a, lot of, a lot of kind of, like, pastels and stuff. I look like I've just stepped off a yacht. Do you think that's going to work? I think it sounds like a really lovely theme. As soon as I heard Kashoggi and pastels, I smiled and <laughs> yeah. wanted to buy some arms. You thought good times. <laughs> yeah. Someone sell me some bouncing Bettys. Oh, I'd love a bouncing Betty. Yeah, just pop oh, up. the damage I could do. Yeah, just knee height, render you non-viable, anybody in three metres. Good times. <laughs> good times. Uh, so, how's Pond Land? Oh, hello. He's going very well. It's going to be on television, I think, from September. Yeah, I, we're recording those at the moment. I heard you recorded one on Friday night. It was very, very funny. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. I'm mean, enjoying doing that. It's a good programme. The my own radio show's going very well with uh, the ever-lovely Matt Morgan, who uh, I used to do the Six, Mo- uh, Six Music show with, and we're doing a, a live version of the radio show at the Bloomsbury Fair this Friday. Wow, it's all going off, isn't Funny. it, eh? It's going off. I'm hosting the MTV VMA I was going to say, I just found this out this morning. It's bloody hell. This, I mean, uh, some fella called Mike Myers did it last year. I've not really heard much about it myself. I don't know what he does for a living. He yeah. sounds, to, to me, like the kind of chancer I've always despised. The, 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 MTV, the MTV Video Music Awards, it doesn't get a lot bigger than that, sir. I suppose there's the Oscars, isn't there? Well, that's next year, isn't it? Oh, we'll try very much to, if not host the Oscars, then get to one. sell arms at the Oscars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can have a little stool next to mine. Yeah, they we, love we, arms, we, we the Americans. Up, George, and sell arms. Perhaps, you know, we've had, I've got quite a lot of contacts in the trade. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that's, that's good news. Now, I heard uh, on a slightly kind of down... The only, the only down bit of news I've got on this piece of paper is uh, you're not going to make Bookie Wookie into a movie. Oh, no. I'll tell you why. Because it, that, in that bookie work of mine, it becomes increasingly clear that I, I lived a preposterous and silly life. And uh, like the people that I work with in America go, don't make... These are the exact words. So this is a glimpse behind the curtain of the way it works in Hollywood. <laughs> okay. Don't make that your primary association. It's unnecessary. Right. I've got two films lined up. I'm doing, playing the same character I played in Forgetting Sarah Marshall again, but this time back on drugs, so a rock star back on drugs. So there will be drugs, you know. Yeah. I'm doing that with Jonah Hill and Judd Apatow but- producing it. And I'm doing another film that Adam Sandler's producing where I'm playing a con man who has to pose as a priest to, to uh, hide from gangsters in America. So, uh, you hang know, on a minute. Adam Sandler, the biggest comedian or, like, you know, the biggest box office banker guy in America, and Judd Apatow, the hot new star, the, the new yeah. kid on the block. So if one's at least, yeah, so that's what he's over in this week, Adam Sandler, guess what he said? He said, I've got to show him how famous I am in England, right? So now I'm like really under pressure to go places and be recognised. So well, may I say, if anyone listens to Six Music... Make a big deal of we'll Russell when he's... Deal. Yeah. Don't yeah. be blasé, don't go, oh, there's Russell Brand, and then just carry on with your life. Go, <laughs> Scream. Well, this is an exciting thing, there's Russell Brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if he's, I've heard he's lights arms, so if you want to come down here, we could sell arms, we could do a little fanfare for you as you come, like, Russell, oh, my favourite arms client and yes. comedian. Yeah, very much. <laughs> do emphasise my uh, military interest. Yeah, <laughs> we will do. Uh, Russell, before you go, mate, can you think of a number between one and ten, please? Seven. No, it was three, mate. Sorry oh, about no. that. No, yeah, I was going to say three. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> if it's seven plus three is ten, that's the three that I left over. Yeah, Why does God torment me? I know, it's terrible, <laughs> isn't he? Uh, Russell Brand, everybody, give him a big round of applause. Take care, Russ.